This is Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff and Wolf Lady Beth. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the car after our draw. Red Wolves won, Louisville City won. Now, uh, it was a good match. Um, this is our second, at least second here, uh, of our uh, preseason friendlies. And I thought the Red Wolves played very well. Louisville is... Um, they hadn't done as well in the preseason as they had in regular season, but uh, in their regular season, I think it's the last two years they've won the USL. The Red Wolves have gone out of their way to find some really quality sides to um, to measure themselves against. And so uh, between Atlanta United 2, uh, which has some amazing players, and uh, Louisville. Uh, so this was, this was great to see. Uh, Beth and I had a really good time. Uh, hadn't been uh, to this uh, field yet. It's over right now, at least for this year, at Chattanooga Christian School. And so wasn't quite sure what we're going to find. But I have to say, they have a very professional outfit as far as for all the hospitality. When you pull in, everything from the parking uh, to the ticket takers to the concessions, it was extremely professional. It was very well organized. It was clear. Uh, people were very friendly and very helpful and glad you were there. Uh, I've been excited about the Red Wolves ever since they were announced being a big wolf supporter. Uh, but it was also really nice, I guess on a special note, just to see so many other people wearing Red Wolves gear everywhere. So it was like, I felt like walking around the stadium and, uh, you know, going through the stands and interacting with other fans. I was like, hey, I've got more family here. And that was, that was really cool. Uh, there was a lot of excitement there. It wasn't a large crowd. There wasn't a lot of people. I was hoping for a few more. I think with it being so cold and uh, people still getting to know who the Red Wolves are, uh, that's going to come. And uh, so it was um, when we get to hosting, uh, I think it's Madison is our first home match. When we host them, uh, I'm expecting our, uh, we're, we're going to pack it out. So we've got some time between now and then. So if you're kind of wondering what that experience is like, it was made to be quite comfortable. And as you could tell, I'm a big guy. And so some of you might be thinking, you know, how comfortable are the stands? How easy is it, is it going to be for me to get there if you're older or if, you're, uh, if you can't move as well? They made great concessions for us. And so uh, I was comfortable in those stands and uh, Beth and I, plenty of room. Uh, so it was, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, they were close to the restrooms. Uh, they had some concessions, uh, one of which was Chick-fil-A. And they had some free coffee. Uh, so especially for an early match, uh, that coffee really hit the spot. So we had a really good time with that. Uh, the players were fantastic. I got a chance to talk to our keeper uh, a little bit later, and I'll, I'll post that up. He, he, was, he was amazing. I was really, he was probably, I think, the man of the match. Uh, just because um, he stopped several goals. So we had some really good defense. We kept creating chances. There's a little bit where coach is going to have to work, uh, Hankinson's going to have to work with them on finishing. A, a little um, in quality, if you will, on for just that last third. But our guys put in a lot of hustle. I saw them trying again and again, and they get the ball, they knock down, and they got back up, and they kept going, and they kept pushing. And to me, that was probably the most encouraging thing I saw about the Chattanooga Red Wolves is they have a fight and uh, and they want each other to succeed and it was more important that they got a goal rather than that person got the goal and so I really like that team play so uh, I'm excited to see with the Red Wolves and we'll have to check hopefully I can make it to the Madison match so Beth and I had a fantastic time I recommend coming and checking out the Chattanooga Red Wolves this has been Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff.